like every good book, has to eventually come to an end. But doesn't mean it's always over. Where you'll find yourself starting over back at page one. Making room for a new chapter. This is the new chapter. Check out my brand new 2022 Toyota Hilux SR 4x4. What a beauty she is. Let's check her out. All right, so let's jump straight into it. So as you can see, she's not a stock Hilux anymore and big apologies for not uploading in such a long time. We've had so many issues um, where our hard drive completely broke and we've lost all our footage and everything um, and also just moved out as well. So um, we've had a lot going on, so big apologies, but let's just jump straight in the video. So one of the most recent mods that I got Ultimate Off-Road to install was a four inch R-Max uh, Safari snorkel, as well as diff breathers connected straight into the air box. So essentially the diff breather point is all the way up to here. Um, so after my last highlights, I'm not taking any chances at all. So that was one of the first things that I did. Um, and I am so impressed with this snorkel. Yes, she looks a bit big and bulky and you know, like they really suit the Land Cruisers because they're a bigger car. This is a big chunky snorkel, um, but I was speaking to Ultimate Off-Road and they said that if I want to do any future performance mods like tuning the car, etc., this snorkel will give the best and possible results. Um, I didn't want to go stainless steel because uh, one of my mates, he's got a, um, a N80 Hilux as well, but having the head facing you, he said that he loves the sound, but on highway, it annoys him that much. He has to drive with the window um, up, essentially. And I love having the window down. Um, and yes, it sounds cool, but it's not that practical, um, to be honest. So, so I'm absolutely stoked with this um, Safari R-Max snorkel. Uh, she pulls in so much air, it's not funny. Um, and you can really hear her, you know, dose going up hills. And when you've got a bit of load on the back of the car, um, you can really hear her just flutter a bit. But I love the sound, especially coming from a V6 Hilux that you I couldn't even get that sort of sound. You know, coming to a diesel, it is a good change. All right, so I haven't even had the car for 24 hours and I'm already swapping shit over. So I've still got my old mark, so I haven't sold it yet. So the reason I haven't sold it is because I wanted to swap over my tires and as much as I can um, over to my new locks. Um, so I'm swapping over the new tires, uh, my old Hilux tires onto my new car. And um, at least it gives it a little bit more character, a bit more look anyway. Um, so, now I'm keen. So I chucked these guys on. Personally, I don't rate these tires at all. Um, I slip out so bad in the wet. The one thing I will give the BFG Good Rouge tires is I've had these tires for so long and the tread, you know, is still, you know, I've probably got about 65% tread over the space of four years of having them. Stock Hilux comes with 265, 65, 17s. But when I swapped over to the all-terrain version of the same size tire, I do actually scrub on full lock. Um, so it's a bit weird that, you know, they didn't make the wheel arch a little bit bigger. Um, so you can very much notice that when I'm full lock and driving, she'll actually hit the inner guard. So that's something that I will have to address. So before you hand over all your hard-earned money, make sure you do some research first. So I really wanted some tinted windows, but Toyota was asking over $1,200 for the 
darkest legal tint. But before I even mentioned that, that, that to Toyota, I, I went down to Tinted Car and got a quote, and they, their quote came around $600 to tint the whole entire car with the darkest legal tint. Now, I told Toyota that, and Toyota wants your business essentially, and they were able to do some magic and able to match the same price. So make sure that you do some research and shop around for any aftermarket parts that Toyota could essentially do and see if they can match or beat them. Um, so I saved myself, you know, up to six hundred plus dollars just by doing that research. So it it pays to you know do your research. So while Toyota was chucking on the tin, um, I really wanted um, black weather shields. Um, I could have chucked them on myself, but you know while they had it, you know, and it comes with the warranty as well. I like you know just chuck it all on. Um, and I, to be honest, just having those weather shields it, it just makes the car look a little bit nicer in my personal opinion. Um, I absolutely love it. So another optional extra that I opted in with Toyota was the black side strips. Um, so these actually come off the Rugged X Hilux. Um, and personally being an SR, um, they look very much like a work in a fleet car. So I just want to just stand out a little bit more um, and just put these side strips on. But it looks a little bit better in my personal opinion. Um, so I'm glad that I opted in. So another optional extra that I got Toyota to add was this black uh, plastic bonnet protector. Um, personally, you know, when you go out four-wheel driving and it's definitely dirt roads, the amount of stone chips that fly up onto your bonnet is unreal. Um, you know, coming from my old M70 Hilux, I had so many stone chips before I put that plastic cover on. Look, it gives a bit of character as well, in my personal opinion. And hey, if it saves the bonnet, that's what that's you want. So another optional extra that I got Toyota to install were these rated recovery points. Now these rated recovery points actually come off the Rugged X Hilux. These are Rugged X Hilux rated, uh, recovery points that I got them to install. Toyota wasn't too keen to install them on a um, SR or a SR5 Hilux. They wanted to just purely keep it for the Rugged X because that's what separates you know, the Rugged X from SR to SR5. Um, just those a little bit extra features but you can actually almost build up a Rugged X, you know, step by step, you know, as you go. Um, so essentially I got them to chuck this in as well as I had to opt in for a $1,200 um, tow package. Um, so when you buy a Hilux, they don't come with a tow ball or a tow, you know, a tow package anyway. So, you know, essentially you buy a four wheel drive to be able to tow and be able to, you know, take your boat or um, caravan out or anything. Um, so. I had, to, I had no choice but to opt in for that. So I told him, look, when you chuck on this, make sure that you um, are able to chuck on the rated recovery points and they agree to that. So I'm really glad that they have. I have technically actually used it once before to save um, uh, one of my mates who got stuck a little bit. We won't go into the story, but uh, I did, there <laughs> we did actually, I was able to get him out with it. Um, so look, they've already paid off. So that wraps up the video for today. Um, I just want to share my excitement with you guys. Actually, it's a brand new vehicle and I am absolutely stoked with it. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe if you like any of our content as it really helps me in shading now. Um, also, big news coming up. Not necessarily good news, but big news coming up. So I, you guys don't want to miss any of that. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Um, and also, we're going to um, do a lot more videos on the new Hilux. So if there's any videos that you guys want to see, make sure you comment down below um, about it and hopefully we can make it. But otherwise, hopefully we'll see you on the tracks real soon, guys. Cheers.